Edward Snowden distributed and made public millions of documents. This is one program uh, that he exposed. Edward Snowden uh, is still a traitor to the United States. He was on day one when he released this information. He still is today. Once upon a prime time, he made people laugh and was even considered to be America's dad. But now it would seem no amount of pudding will be able to take his sexual and drug dalliances go away. Add to that another comic who feels compelled to apologize when called out for a two-year-old gag. You have the makings of a Tuesday talker. And add to that a guy whom some believe should be allowed back in the United States, despite the fact that many consider him a traitor. Let's go ahead and get started, if you will. Welcome back to the veteran stand-up comic who reached the semi-final stage on Last Comic Standing and soon to be heard on his new CD, Living the Dream, sort of. Mike Gaffney joins us. Mike, good to see you again. Hey, thanks, Ed. How are you? I'm another day in paradise, my friend, as it is every Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> it's just uh, three days to Friday. Let's get started uh, on something Good. serious, because as a comic, I, I know that what we're going to talk about here is going to be important to you, but something really serious here. The Attorney General, former Attorney General of the United States, uh, Eric Holder, says that there's a possibility that maybe we'll bring Eric Snowden back into the country. Maybe we'll create a plea bargain that will allow him to come back here. Well, there's one of two things. Either he's a traitor or he's a guy that really did something good by opening up America's eyes. How would you feel as a citizen of the United States knowing that this guy just might be allowed back in the country? It's really hard. Here's the thing. He did, he did shed the light on some serious issues, and, but the way he went about it is the problem. As to how he went about it, but I don't know if he would have been able to do it any other way than the way he did it. So uh, it's going to be impossible for uh, any president or any government to, to negotiate and let him back in. It's kind of like two wrongs don't make a right. The way he went about it was criminal. So you have to deal with it. Unfortunately, uh, the light he shined, he, he shined some light on some serious issues that we need to work on. But the way he went about it, it's horrible. It's like a, a woman who record, like, like, hitting camera records her husband cheating on her and then brings her to Maury. Like, it's kind of like, you know, it's like a, an immature way to go about it, but the guy can't fight it. He can't be like, uh, you know, he's got to still fight. Like, no, that's not me. I know it looks like me on the video, but that's not me. He's got to stand by his uh, decision. You know what I mean? Out of curiosity's sake, does Edward Snowden make for any sort of comic grist whatsoever? I mean, can you use him in your act anywhere? Not really, because <laughs> uh, we, we all kind of agree with him. So it's like, you don't want to make fun of ah, him. Okay. I don't agree with what he's doing. Wait a minute. We, we make fun of people that we agree with. Just go and look at the late night shows. They do it all the time. All right, let's go ahead and get down to yeah. something <laughs> right up your alley here. I want to talk about two comics here, because this is important. Bill Cosby, apparently in a 2005 court deposition, admitted that he intended to give drugs to young women with whom he wanted to have sex. We're talking about quaaludes back in the 70s, when a lot of people were popping quaaludes like they were M&Ms at the time. But still, so many people have lined up against this guy. And just to hear this, don't you think this is the final damning nail in the coffin here for a comic genius? Yeah, I don't know how you come back from it. The, the thing that's really, you know, kind of stinks for me is, is if you would have told me 10 years ago that you would be on TV talking about Cosby, I would be thinking I'm talking about how he influenced my act, not how we had women under the influence. Like that wouldn't be what I think I would be talking about. Uh, I think the, on the other hand, some women admitted that they knew they were taking quaaludes. They knew they were taking quaaludes. So basically, Cosby got them to roofie themselves. I don't even think there's an episode of Law and Order that has women roofing themselves. Uh, I cannot imagine that there were many people there, but um, when you look at what he has said and what he is now accused of, you got to believe that uh, there's no coming back from this one. Uh, by the way, I, I'm no now told back. that I know it's been a little late, but Lisa Durden was supposed to join us. I know that she joins us by phone right now. Lisa, you there? I'm here. Sorry, I'm running late. Check. No, no Please worries. We only got a couple of minutes, so let me get your <laughs> real quick let take. Go. Let me get your real quick take. I've only got two and a half minutes left. Your real quick take on Bill Cosby and this recent allegation or this recent uh, note here that he did seek drugs to give to women. Well, I have to disagree with the other guests. Cosby didn't have those men roofie themselves. He raped those women. Cosby is a serial rapist. Cosby ran around terrorizing the, the community with his penis. The man is an embarrassment. The man is nasty. The, everything that the man did positive is um, now behind this rape uh, allegation that I feel is true. And Beverly Johnson, the model, who came out for no reason, she didn't need his money, once she did, it was very credible, that Bill Cosby is a rapist, and for anybody, black, white, or green, to think that this man uh, should be celebrated for anything at this point 
is an embarrassment. I mean, I, I hate to disagree, but it's a disaster. No, this is Rufy. No, that's himself. okay. He's Don't worry about it, really. There's a lot Absolutely. of people who, who share exactly what you're saying as well. That Absolutely. Okay, so that no matter yeah, where absolutely. we go from this he's point. He's a rapist. Yeah. There's, no, there's no problem from that. There, he is a rapist. What I'm saying is that one of the women said that they knew they were taking quaaludes. And it I doesn't said, wow, matter what she knew. Got, it matters that he's a rapist. I know, I hear you. Bring that issue I up. Hear you. He's okay. a rapist. Yeah, Nobody's saying he's not. I don't, I don't you got to really listen when people talk. I didn't say he wasn't a rapist. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take control yeah. here because, again, I do have to be fair. Mike did not say that he wasn't a rapist, so let's be fair here. Right. Lisa, you are correct. It's how America is going to look at him. I have less than a minute left. Mike, to you. Amy Schumer is defending jokes that are two years old, including one that says, I used to date Hispanic guys, but now I prefer consensual. She says that she likes to push the edge of the envelope. Isn't that what comics are supposed to do? Absolutely. And back in the day, we had social commentators, like, so, like comics who were like Lenny Bruce, Carlin, Pryor, who, who shed light on serious social issues. And then we had Howie Mandel, who put a glove over his face and blew it up. So there's all sorts of comedy. If you ever hear Amy Schumer, most of her comedy is kind of like, it's really outrageous. She has a joke. She says, I, uh, I had slept with my high school sweetheart. Everyone claps. And then she goes, I know, but now he wants me to go to the prom. Everyone claps. And she said, I don't know where I'm going to be in two years, suggesting that she slept with a sophomore. We know she's not a pedophile. It yep. was a joke. It's all just a joke. Unfortunately, Lisa, I'm all out of time, so i got to go. But oh, we'll have okay. you back on that's again. Okay. We'll take care of it. I know you're running late. Mike Gaffney, Lisa Durden, thanks for joining us. Mike, you make some good points, as does Lisa as well. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. We'll catch up with you Thank guys you. again. Coming up next, the money master and Greeks bearing absolutely no gifts whatsoever. What a shock. Midpoint continues.